Okay, let's now go to. Um, let's see, where are we? <clears throat> so we just go to our website and. and <clears throat> Let's see, where are we? Yeah, right here. <clears throat> and we go to this thing. As you see, it's already on the website, so you don't have to write anything, okay? Just sit down and listen, please. And so it's right here. So <clears throat> we go back to 114th prime number. Very old one. 114th prime number is 619. And now these are the new stuff that we've learned about regular primes. Uh, 619 regular prime is 8171. 8171 is the 673rd lonely prime. And 673rd regular prime is 9127. Okay? So we start with the Quran, 114 chapters. We ended up with 9127. Okay? through two mathematical operations that has no, listen to this very carefully, it has no analog to the mathematics that we know of. Okay? That means I cannot generate these numbers. Okay? That's what it means. These numbers are generated through a mathematics that we are not privy to its complexity and its intricacy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so so we went directly from one fourteen to nine one two seven. Okay, so now let's see what else it has. Eighty one seventy one is the ten twenty sixth prime. 1026 prime is the frequencies of the initials ha plus mim in surahs 43 to 46. Okay? Remember that in the Quran, in those ha mim chapters, you have 41, I'm sorry, 40, 41, 42. When you reach 42, it has two sets of initials. Remember that? So you can, you can divide them into two subgroups. And so when you look at the ones outside 41, 40, 40, 41, 42, you're going to have 43 to 46, those chapters. And those chapters have 1,206 counts of half plus mean. Okay? And this 8171 happens to be the 1026 prime. Again, you owe that question to yourself, why? Is that a coincidence? Okay. Is this fortuitous that this happened? No. Okay. Anyway, 8171 is the, 8171 is the 395th long prime. And this this number, 395 is a composite, and this index is 317. 317 prime number verse in the Quran is 9127. Okay? Isn't that amazing? Okay. Well, 8171 is the 502nd additive prime. 502 second composite is 615. 615th composite, that should be TH after that. 615th composite is 748, and 748 lonely prime is 9127. Okay, so you see, remember I said that because it's the truth, God does not give up on the truth. Falsehood does not exist. 
when you are telling a lie you are what you are doing is you are actually denying existence see how the how vast this crime is that the lie never happened it's not the truth you are denying the truth that's why it's so important said so when you are committing plagiarism it's something that it wasn't yours it was somebody else's and you did that without referring to that person who did it so that whole thing never existed see that's why God is is the truth that's why as one of his names is the truth okay so that's why he keeps insisting he'll keep coming back to this 9127 <clears throat> That is the amazing part about these things. Okay. And again, we are we are really blessed with this that that we see these things and and God has shown us this beautiful views of a world which is not this 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 physical world that we are in, this physical universe that we are in shows us basically uh, another view is a heavenly view that he shows us and we are privileged okay to look at this and enjoy it without without you know without any um, um, what do you call it? Any doubts about these things? Because again, as I said, what you have to do is you have to ask these questions. Okay? Forget about everybody else. Okay? Is this is this a coincidence somehow? That this guy is 395th long prime and 395 is 317th composite and 317th prime number version in the Quran is 9127? Okay? There are 6,346 verses in the Quran. Why this one? Why this thing generates this one? Because that's the one they, they, they fiddled with. And he wants to expose them. Because that thing never existed. <clears throat> so as I said, a lie is a it's denial of existence. Okay. And so, again, when we go to the the Quran, as I said, you know, in the first Raqqa or first Khutbah, that, you know, we are, we are in this situation and we have to, the only way we can be righteous, let's put it that way, okay by having God in our mind all the time and if you don't do that we ask blasphemous questions we ask questions that are meaningless absolutely meaningless okay we don't look at it from the point of view that it should be looked at okay so when those birds know the thing there's there's a lot who showed them this Allah? Who told them how to do it? God inspired them how to do it. Did, did Honeybee go to some architect, architecture school or something to learn how to make the hive and everything? Perfect, you know, hexagonals in there. God says otherwise. He says, he inspired the honeybee. Okay. Last last week we talked about it. Okay, Allama al insan ma lam yalam. Okay, he teaches the human being what he does not know. Oh well, we have to go to this school and that school and this and that the others. Okay, 
we've been had this, all kinds of complaints, okay? No, you're not thinking about God. That's why it's like that. You have put God way out there. That's why you're like that. It's not because you didn't go to MIT or something. Okay? God will teach you. You think these are taught at MIT? Okay? God is the one who teaches us. And then he shows us these views that nobody else is privileged to see. That's the beauty of it. And so, you know, some people deny this beauty upon themselves. They don't want to see it. Okay? Those are, God says, these are the people who really hate the truth. Right? They don't want to hear the truth. Okay? So, think about these things and ask God to help you. Ask God to help you to keep him on your mind all the time and enjoy it. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and we'll 